Hi, I'm Rhonda Staten, counselor at the Johnson County Community College Counseling Center. This podcast is a brief information session regarding teacher education programs at the university level. The steps involved in how best to prepare yourself for being accepted into a teacher education program and how we can assist you in your career path towards becoming a licensed professional teacher. First, let me clarify that JCCC cannot issue the Professional Teacher License, formerly known as a Teaching Certificate. This professional licensure is awarded through the State of Kansas Department of Education in Topeka and is done initially through the Teacher Education Programs or School of Education at the university level and requires that you have a bachelor's degree. Your six steps here at JCCC are as follows. First, discuss with a JCCC counselor the many options you have in selecting a college or university with a school of education which prepares elementary or early childhood education or secondary education majors. Secondly, select courses from the transfer guides which will transfer to the school of your choice specifically for teacher education. These are found on the large transfer guide shelf currently located on the second floor of the Student Center near the Counseling Center. Also, you can find these online by searching for transfer programs in the quick search field on the JCCC homepage. Three, build your GPA so that you have about a 3.0 or better grade point average. Many universities will accept a 2.5 or 2.75 cumulative GPA but it's best to build a strong foundation if you are planning to enter a program that is competitive. Four, plan to take the PPST test for entering into colleges in Kansas or the C-Base if you're planning to attend a school in Missouri. This is an entry-level admission requirement for teacher education candidates. It is a test in reading, writing, and math. We recommend taking this the fall of your sophomore year. You can get more information from JCCC counselors about dates and costs for the PPST. Five, apply to the School of Education at the transfer school before the posted deadlines. These dates are also listed on the transfer guides at the top of the page. Six, find out early in your JCCC career if your program requires documented hours working with children prior to admission to the School of Education. If so, work with JCCC counselors and the JCCC Service Learning Office to get those experiences you need. Additionally, we encourage you to to attain the JCCC Associate of Liberal Arts degree with 64 credits, which can be the combination of courses you use to transfer successfully to a teacher education program. What a great reward to attain the AA diploma as a benchmark of being about halfway to the teacher license. Finally, remember that any of our JCCC counselors can assist you in understanding the steps for transfer if you're planning a career in teaching. Good luck. Hope to see you soon.